Hello guys, um, today we'll be talking about part 2 of Welcome to Dead House. Um, this one aired same day, June 29th, 1997. It has an 8.1 out of 10 overall 90 with 100 user volts. And if you want to know more about cast and director, I suggest watching part 1. Oh, and I should mention, this, these part, this two-parter is hosted by R.L. Stein. Sorry I didn't mention that in the first one, but part two really continues the consistency of part one in terms of everything. Now, adaption from the book. When I read, the climax is different in the book. And in a lot of ways, I think the book is a bit more gruesomely more violent than, than, the, than the movie. I mean, the two-parter. But the climax in this works well because it's titled... I hate to go into spoilers, but spoiler, um, the climax takes place in, in the book. The book In the book, the climax takes place outside at a thing, but in this, it takes place someplace different in a place that actually probably makes more sense <laughs> once you think about it. I won't say what, but yeah, um, this series, this sh Two episodes, this story has a real good Night of the Living Dead vibe. But that's the thing about the town, the horror people, is that they're not vampires because they can, they're awake during the day. They're not zombies because they can talk and they're not falling apart. They're, in my opinion, the cl if we're going to call anything a ghoul, I would call these people ghouls. I mean, that's kind of what I would think of them, really. But, um... As far as the technicals go, it continues from part two, from part one, and it continues into part two and continues going strong. The climax is awesome. It's very intense, very, very well done. Um, classic horror. I mean, I don't know what else I can say about th this two-parter. It's just textbook horror. If you want to, if you're getting started in horror and you want to do something not do something more classic horror. This I recommend this these two episodes. These two, this two parter is is what if I was gonna make a horror movie, this two parter is a great way of doing it. And it's the story itself is very original and very well written. And they really take advantage of where they're located. Oh, and pacing. Um, oh, and besides pacing, the pacing's good in both episodes. Being a two-parter, it executed well. Um, the... What was I going to say? Um, I forgot. Shit. Um, it's, um, the two... Oh, I would warn you, though, that, um... Even for Goosebumps standards, this is pretty intense, I think, even for kids. <laughs> Some Goosebumps episodes you can away with showing to kids, but most of those episodes are actually pretty bad. The good ones are the ones that you gotta be careful with kids. I mean, hindsight it should be fine, but I would still keep an eye out on that. But, um, man, there's that. Man, what else could... I think impact on me. I think what I love most about this story is just in terms of being different from the book. My, minus what I said about the climax and some extra details, it's really a truly good adaptation of the book, and it just it knows it captures the spirit of the book, that intensity, and man, I just love I love the makeup. They went for a classic Night of the Living Dead, and it's just, it's awesome. It's fucking awesome. Um, I don't know what more I could say about it. It's it's not really, it's very it's a very simple two-parter, very intense, very dread. I mean, it's directed by William Frey. This guy single-handedly makes a good chunk of the of the awesome Goosebumps episodes, both two-parters and single, single 20-minute episodes. I mean, it just... It just blows my mind how good he is with these kinds of sh episodes. Now, are some better than others of his? Sure. But Welcome to Dead House, it is awesome. And it rivals Haunted Mask pretty well. 
and I've said that about a lot of two parts, but this one, if a, if this if you get rid of the haunted mask, I think this is probably this is a very close second to the haunted mask. These two, this two parter, and and it's close to it because it's it feels like an honest to god good horror movie. If this was a movie, it would be an excellent horror movie. And I would make, like I said before, this is a great horror movie, horror thing to aspire to make because it's, it's cinem in a lot of ways, it's kind of cinematic. The way they have the lighting, the way they have the makeup, the way they have the story, the acting, the acting and everything just feels genuine. And it just feels like a, a good original story to tell. Man, it's just, it's awesome. But <laughs> I've said enough about it. Um, It's awesome in every aspect. And they're, the part one and part two are very consistent. There's no disjointedness like in the Monster Blood two-parter, two the Monster Blood two-parter. But, um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to the videos. Check that one out. It is definitely one to see. And, um, and keep watching these. We got more going and have a good day.